Animal Babies. I love the whatever. It's pretty bad. Well, I was asked to do this at a very late hour. I mean, Phil, if ever you have a moment, you could always want to do one of these. Yeah, it's you, not me. I know. I would never ask you, Queen. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Just I would never. never I wouldn't. I would never uh, ask you to do anything that you would not volunteer to do. I like my head. On air talent. Till I start getting a paycheck out of this bullshit. <laughs> yeah, no. Why do why do work until uh, you know? You know, it is the NFL free agency period. There has some things got now. What we're talking about is I didn't have enough time to put an email together today, so I asked Ray to do it, and uh, I did, and you did. You know, Ray shows up. That's what he does. Uh, so you want to do uh, some off the cups opening takes? Why don't you go first, Bill? Yeah. Uh... Have you name? Do you know who's the he's the top five highest paid wide receiver in the league? And only one of them has never caught 1000 yards in a season. Christian Kirk to the Jaguars. What a fucking stupid deal. Very, very stupid deal. He's making over 20 million dollars has never had a thousand yard uh, receiving yard season they're throwing money around just stupid 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 it's insane how much money's getting thrown around the nfl this year wow yeah the jaguars are like uh what year was it when the redskins signed jason taylor and like all of the that like oh, five Deion yeah, sanders yeah yeah yeah. like they had like Bruce two or, Smith two or three years where they just year? dumped a bunch of money into guys that like in and it never worked um oj howard went to buffalo <laughs> OJ, who gives a shit? OJ, Howard well, last nothing. time there was an OJ in Buffalo, we know what happened there. <laughs> he got moved. he killed someone like yeah, years he, later in LA. What did yeah, that was he set record. NFL records, records for rushing? That's what I was going. He rushed oh, for, going for NFL yards. records. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You're yeah, right. NFL bro. records. NFL records. Um, yeah, the J. I my opening take was going to be the Jags are just spending a bunch of money on guys that were not on their team last year just to get new guys on their team this year. They're not going to be good. Who's their coach? Have they got Doug a coach? Peterson. Oh, yeah. They yeah. Got Doug Peterson. I actually don't hate that with Trevor Lawrence. I guess. I, I mean, does Doug Peterson light the world on fire? I don't know. They uh, suck pretty Bowl. bad after they won that Super Bowl with Big Dick Nick. What happened? Carson Wentz. To Indianapolis, and that was the end of it. Carson Wentz happened. He didn't win with Carson Wentz. He won with Nick Folk. Yeah. Well, Nick Folk re- turtled. And reverted back to they started Carson Wentz. That was the big yeah, thing. Yeah, they went man. right back to Carson Wentz the next year. Big yeah, mistake. Just, uh it Car- sucks. He's about <laughs> to ruin the third franchise. <laughs> Carson he's, Wentz. He's absolutely terrible. Ray, do you have a uh, opening take do you want to go with for this uh NFL free agency social hour? Uh, I'm just gonna go off of the Devontae Adams being getting what he wants, having Aaron Rodgers come back and then getting a franchise tag and now saying he refuses to play. One of the worst teammates probably in the NFL. Devontae Adams. Uh, Ooh, uh, worst teammate, play, Aaron Rodgers. I wouldn't play in the franchise. Tag I either. just think it's only guaranteed them. one year, man. NFL contracts aren't guaranteed. You're not going to get big bucks if you no, blow yeah, your yeah. knee. I'm Fuck way that. team I'm way Devontae team Adams right now. He's, he's arguably the best receiver in the league, and Aaron Rodgers swooped in and took his fucking money. After Aaron Rodgers already has however many hundreds of millions. Of Aaron Rodgers is getting 150 million in, th- in the first three years of this deal. Aaron it's Rodgers insane. is the worst teammate ever. <laughs> Devontae Adams is just trying to get paid. Just trying to get paid. Team like player else. all the time in the NFL. Yeah, but she's going to. I don't know if the Packers can actually do it. I They've mean, been, they just cut two. They, they're going to have cut, to uh, decimate their team to they did. pay they fucking just, those two guys. They cut their best linebacker. He just signed with Baltimore for big money. I think they reduced to Darius Smith. To Darius was Smith saying, yep. I forgot what reporter was saying, but like they're saying Aaron Rodgers' deal is so cap friendly. How is that cap friendly? It's because it because goes. You, to, it, you can, did you not get this yet? I thought you were a fan of this fucking. The NFL cap is bullshit. Rich, Every save it for the show. Time. This is opening takes. Okay, sorry. My opening take is raise a fucking idiot, and the NFL cap is bullshit. 
every, the, anytime you sign a player, you can just restructure the contract and push the money on the cap out if you pay him real dollars. That's how it works in the NFL. It's how it's always worked. Eventually, that dead cap will come around, but you can continue to push it out and push it out and push it out as long as a player plays ball. Like Tom Brady in the in the Cam Newton year, the Patriots had to pay a dead cap hit of, I think, 14 million, Bill, 13, correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, for Tom Brady who left, which was another mismanagement of that whole fucking ordeal. But they pushed that goddamn thing for 20 years. With Tom you're Brady. allowed to you're allowed two W years now in the new CBA. You can tack on two dumb years for cap purposes. And that's what you're seeing. That's what Brady's got two more within. But you can continue here. to restructure yep. those dumb years. So or you Devin, McCourty, yeah. Devin McCourty just got nine million. I think his cap hit is like four or five or six or something. You, yeah. And they're going to put in. And but then the dead cap will be 13 or 12 or something in two or three years from now. So. You can just keep pushing the money out, and that's what they did with Aaron Rodgers. And their dead cap hit in two or three years will be enormous, yes, but it will be for one year. You can get through it. So you're right. Maybe you're right on the Devontae Adams standpoint of they should be able to pay him because of that, but that's still a goddamn lot of cash. It's At the end of the day, there's $50 million going to Aaron Rodgers that somebody has to pay, and Devontae Adams wants another 20 in cash. Cash money, money. though. So, uh, Aaron Rodgers, terrible teammate. Ray, cash is crap. Cap is crap. And cash is real. This is the Civil Blind Sports Show, Social Hour, NFL Free Agency. Welcome to the show. This show is brought to you by White Birch Brewing, the best craft brewing in New Hampshire, Nashville, New Hampshire, Ray Address, please. 460 Amherst Street. Good side of Amherst Street. Get on down there. Get yourself a flight. Get yourself a pint. Uh, get your local. Uh, I, I'm a little distracted, right? You've really been on my mind because you said that I've been mean to you for the last couple of weeks. And I feel like that opening take was, again, really mean to you. So I just want to apologize. I'll on behalf. allow it. No, I'll allow it. Well, either way, I want to be, apologize on behalf of me and White Birch Brewing that oh, I'm you. sorry that we were mean to you in that opening take. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, if you'd like to drown your tears away, then head on down to uh, White Birch Brewing and get a couple sours, get a couple sour tears. If you can't get to the brewery and, and cry and drink with Ray, then get at your local beer store, wherever you get it. Tell me Simple Minds Boys sent you White Birch Brewing. Okay. Let's get into Ray, this email. Ray's looks email. like a purchase order. These emails from Ray are always fun. They're always good to go over. They're always, I'm not going to be. I asked I'm, Rich what he wanted. I kind of thought this is what he wanted. Very uh, uh, open to what Ray wrote here. Let's see what he says to start off. Uh, asterisks. Going into the 2022 offseason, here are the teams with the most cap room. The Miami Dolphins have $61 million. The LA Chargers, $57 million. Jaguars, 56 million. Bengals, 48. Jets, 44. All of, the, of these, all of these teams have something in common. They have quarterbacks on rookie deals. And he goes on to say, the cap isn't crap. Care to explain, Raymond? No, just all these guys have all this cap room. Obviously, all these guys are on rookie deals. So that's why they, I think they have the most cap to spend right now. Um, they probably have more cap to spend. That's That's... Um, you know who's also undeniable. on a rookie deal? You know who's also on a rookie deal? Starting quarterback in the AFC East on Mac, Mac Jones. Jones. You know why yep. they don't have money to spend? Because they because spent two hundred fifty million dollars last year. It comes and it comes and goes. This is a. It's just. Ugh. Can I ask you something? I had this um, question in my own head today. The Patriots have some of the have one of the lowest cap you know rooms in the league. Who are they spending their money on? Who's making that money? What contract? I know Matt Judon gets fourteen million a year. I know Devin McCourney gets nine. Who's making that money? Oh, who's John Jones keep, makes a good. Uh, keep talking. I'll let you know. Out. Yeah, see who the cap numbers Can are. Can you right? give me a name that you get? And I go, oh yeah, he probably makes a ton of money. A win who might have the highest <laughs> cap number. I swear to God, he's at like ten or twelve mil. Wins at ten, right? That's what I said. That's what I meant. Win ten. He's at ten or twelve, right in that. I think he's ten. <laughs> Please hold. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, before we get back Smith, to that, Henry, let me give you the bottom five. Aguilar. Let me give you the bottom five as we move forward. Devin the Gachow. Chiefs, Chiefs have ten million to spend. Rams have eight. The Bucks have nine. The Giants have eight. The Packers have six million to spend. Was. All they are all in the negative, according to SportsTrack.com, and four to five of them have made deep playoffs runs last year. Uh, Ray's point is good teams spend money to the max while consistently picking in the top ten. Mm-hmm. What does consistently picking in the top ten mean? The Jags, the Jets, the. My point is good teams spend to the max while teams consistently put. Po- Pick in the top ten. You it, did you mean to say bad teams pick in the top ten? No, oh, sorry, yeah, bad teams pick in the top. 10. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Sorry, Cheap teams. Buffalo the major, the major, the majority of teams spend to the cap. That's why you have a salary cap. So you can't say like good teams spend to the cap. That's why they don't pick in the. You know what I'm saying? Like it would, it was like say in baseball, you have good teams that spend all this fucking money, and then the cheap teams don't, and they're not good. I I just think I don't know if there's there's not. I don't think I think the people have done reports on this. There's not a huge correlation of spending and success in the NFL. Here's success in the NFL. Do you have a good quarterback? You're probably pretty good. That's success in the NFL. That's fact. Ray, do you have the cap numbers for the Patriots? Yep. Go ahead. Matt Judon is the highest paid at 16.5. And then it goes Hunter Henry at 15. Nelson Aguilar at 14.8. John o. Smith at 13.6, Isaiah Wynn at 10.4, Gotjow at 10.2, Jonathan Jones Stop there. at 7. Stop there. Read the last four, please. Uh, Devin Gotjow is making $10 million, and then Isaiah Wynn is making $10.4 million, and John o. Smith is making 13, and Nelson Aguilar is making 14.8. Okay, correct my math if I'm wrong here, Bill, but that's 47.4 million on guys who if they went bye-bye tomorrow, we wouldn't know the difference. Correct. 47 million. 28% of the cap is those four guys right there. Is that on the sheet? Yep. <laughs> you think I fucking figured that out right there? <laughs> what are you at, Should've over lied. the cap? You should have lied, Rain Man. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, yeah, no, I just did it in my head real quick, guys. Yeah. 40, 50 million. See, Ray, all you have to do is say roughly. So then it sounds like you guessed it. Yeah, $50 million dollars in four guys who give you nothing, little to nothing on, on the team. You can get on Belichick for that. You can absolutely get on Belichick for that. that those are because, because there's a lot of talk around uh, NFL. Uh, I'm sorry, Patriots fans and reporters and talk show uh, pundits that last year's free agency is looking to be less impactful than it was originally thought. And I originally pushed back on that because I think Hunter Henry is a win. Um, I think we can go through the list of last year, but I think majority of the signings that they had were a win. However, when you tell me that these four guys who they signed, all of them were signed last year are worth $50 million. And all four of them are pretty much busts. That's not speaking very well to the free agency class of 2021. Mm -mm. And it's harboring you from doing anything this year. Mm -hmm. Not great. All right, let's run through. Ray's uh, top 25 free agents who have been signed. Well, not we all. really have to run through with this whole entire list. <laughs> Jesus, no. Ray. I don't know. Um, you can pick out the big ones. I mean, Devontae Adams, Green Bay, one year, 20 million franchise tag. Godwin, Tampa Bay, one year franchise tag. JC Jackson's the first big one, five years at $82 million for the Chargers. Let me ask you, let me ask you this. Who, in your opinion, has made the biggest improvements via free agency so far this year. Denver. And you could say, and I could say free agency. Chargers. And when I say free agency, I also mean, you know, through trades, trades. So not just signings, but this period since the league year, but technically has opened, not opened with the tampering period, but with their moves. So, yeah. So Denver uh, trading for Russell Wilson, should be at the top of the list. We got to put the Chargers on the top of that list. Signing J.C. Jackson, trading for 
um, Khalil, Khalil Mack. Mack. Uh, now you have Signing the Ra- Mike Williams. That's a big yep. one, too. Yep. Yeah, they, they re-signed their home guy, yeah, Mike yeah. Williams. The Raiders just brought on Chandler Jones uh, to put across from Mason Crosby. Chandler Jones, the most sacks in the league over the last decade. Chandler Jones. Um, that AFC West we've talked about before in the show are in a full-on fucking arms race. Chiefs haven't done much, and because of Ray's email, we know that they are in the bottom five of cap room with just ten million. Should they do? Should they oh, be negative looking ten million? They're about to sign Tyree Kill to over twenty negative a year. Million. They're they're actually going to sign Tyree Kill shortly here to a big deal over twenty a year. It's going to lower his cap hit for this year, so they they'll you know they can probably get someone. They're still trying to sign Tyrone Matthew, who's trying to bolt. But I heard Pittsburgh's heavy on him, so he might jump to Pittsburgh now. Do you think do you think the Chiefs take a step back? Actually, of- can I take I think Buffalo should be on that list too. Getting Von Miller is huge. He's a fucking Patriots killer. And that's dude, that's they they watch uh they watch Patrick Mahomes light him up. Right. What was their and, biggest problem last year? They couldn't run the fucking football. They almost had JD because they because couldn't it, stop Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, but they can't run the ball. They're one dimensional team. They just throw the ball. They never could do like the, you know have an option you know it was either josh allen's gonna scramble or josh allen's gonna throw the ball like there's never like oh this guy behind him like when brady had four net when he was having when he was really good you know that super bowl run he, he had someone he had an option behind him josh allen doesn't have an option behind him they need to get an option for josh allen so the game's not always on Devin singletary hands. is just as good as half of the running backs in this league if not better the running back's not the problem oh i disagree the running back's not the problem. You can li- who, give me Tom Brady's best running backs of his career. Are any of them going even sniffing a Hall of Fame, a Pro Bowl? No, like it's not. One. It's, Sean it's McCoy. not about the fucking Corey running Dillon. backs. It's not about the goddamn running backs. It's about their scheme, your offensive line, and can you run it? And do you want to run it? We know that about football. Do you plan to run the ball and do you commit to it? Yes or no? The Bills didn't, and it hurt them, and they lost. And guess what? Now Brian Dayball is out of there. Who's the new OC in Buffalo? Anyone know? No. Well, it's not Matt Patricia. So no fucking idea. Really but lucky. I'll tell you what makes Buffalo better. Von Miller makes Buffalo better. You So Jarek McKinnon is going to make Buffalo better over Von Miller, Ray? Come on. Really? Really? No, I'm just saying they need a run game. I don't think Buffalo should be in this conversation at all. Buffalo got better in free agency. Agree Meh. or disagree? With just Vaughn Miller signing? Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. They just added a premier pass rusher to their team. They got better. Fact. One that, one that could have been Super Bowl MVP. He had, what, two sacks? He has Absolute a... fact. Now, is the contract absurd? <laughs> yeah. Could it come back to haunt him down the line? I guess. But we just went over how cap is bullshit, and they can manipulate it. And if you got a good enough quarterback, you can manipulate it for 20 years. That's what we saw in New England. So we'll see if Buffalo can do that. I have my doubts in Buffalo like I have for years. Who's the OC? I don't know. I think Brian Dayball was a big part of their success with Josh Allen. Let's see if they can duplicate that. Um do you think they, a guy that's 33 years old is going to be a difference maker over there in Buffalo? I think Von Miller is a better pass rusher than they have currently, and they just improved. Okay. Do you think the Patriots have gotten better this year, this offseason? No, because they haven't done anything. They haven't exactly. done anything. Exactly. So the okay. Bills got better because they added, and that's just a fact. They added, so they got better. Just, okay. like, that, it's kind of a zero-sum situation. That They didn't get worse by adding, adding Van, Von Miller, did they? Okay, so they got so that means they got better. Okay, who else got better? I don't know. I'd say Tampa just because they signed a lot of their well, own. They brought Brady back, so I think they got better. Let's yeah. stick to the AFC. What do the Colts look like right now? They have no done quarterback. Shit. No quarterback, and they have done shit. They traded away their shit quarterback, Carson Wentz, for three first, three third round picks. They also just got that D tackle. Who was it from? They got him from in the uh, in a Vegas trade. Who used to play for the Jaguars? Uh, J- J- uh, Yannick something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kajoyce. No, Kajoy. yeah, him. Yep. And they also got a cornerback back from Vegas and a deal for uh, whoever they fucking sent over there. Acho uh, or something. So they bolstered their defense, uh, good defense as it was. I don't like people putting the Colts in a in a, in a in a you know in a tier in a ranking 
that puts them in a playoff situation right now to Bill's point because they don't have a quarterback. Obviously, yeah. they have to have a plan to get a quarterback. I don't think they're going into the season without a quarterback. But until they get one, their team, you can't consider them a top team in the AFC, can you? No. Or no, you just, that, it's that you kid just from uh, Texas. The kid, he's like on his third year of his rookie deal. Eason or something like that? Not Eason. Is he Eason in, in a... Uh, Ehler? In Eiler? If the, if, no if the Colts yeah. go in with essentially a rookie quarterback, do you consider them a top team in the AFC? Hell nope. no. No. If they go in with Jimmy G, do you consider them a top team in the AFC? Yes. yes. Who's their other quarterback candidates? Not named Deshaun Watson. I don't know. I Jimmy honestly G, don't know. And then there was another... Wasn't Derek Carr getting float out there because Josh McDaniels pretty much said something like, he's, "Yeah, we're gonna take it." I don't it. think he's going. You uh, can't. Yeah. You I don't can't. think Carr is moving. Baker race. Mayfield is moving, so maybe he goes to Indiana. If Baker Mayfield oh. goes to the Colts, do you like the Colts? No, <laughs> I don't like the Colts. No. Maybe because they're better coach. I I actually like Frank Reich a lot. Yeah, but look at what Carson Wentz looked like with Frank Reich. Carson if Baker has, has I think is better than Carson Wentz. How much better? A cunt hair. <laughs> uh, my point is, I'm not putting the Colts above, and my uh, this whole thing is about the Patriots. I'm not putting the Colts above the Patriots unless Jimmy G goes there. It's pretty much the only quarterback left in the quarterback carousel that can go there that can make them better, unless a, a big name shoots out again. Uh, obviously, if they get Deshaun Watson, it's a game changer. But I'm not putting the Colts above the Patriots right now. No fucking way. They don't have a quarterback. And if Baker Mayfield goes there, give me a break. Come on. We've seen what happened in Cleveland. I'm not doing it. Other guys that got better. Um, but, Jacksonville. <laughs> but nope. did they? But did they get better? <laughs> We're just grasping at straws here. Let me give you another uh, a team that signed a guy uh, named Ted Karras, Cincinnati Bengals. Do you think the Cincinnati My Bengals Cincinnati get better? Bengals, yes, because they're protecting their future. No. I don't think I think they'll get better because I think Joe Burrows will get better, but I don't think. But, but he's still bottom too. of the he's still bottom of the top ten of quarterbacks in the league. No, yeah, bottom yeah. of the top ten, right? Yeah, so yeah. Sense? So he's, he's around like eleven between, or twelve or ten. Yeah, he's in there. Yeah, yeah, right around there. I would yeah. say like seven to ten range, somewhere in that range. Yeah, somewhere in that range. Joe Joe Burrow, seven to ten for sure. Dings. Uh, who am I missing? Anybody else? Who's made move? Oh, Kirk Cousins, the uh, the gam. <laughs> Everyone, everyone working in a cubicle should have a poster of Kirk Cousins in their fucking cubicle because he's that 59, guy 59 and one faked as it a starter till he Maked it his entire career. And he's made, I think, a hundred, two hundred, two hundred and two hundred, two hundred and thirty one million dollars is what he will make. He is 59, 59 and one as a starter in the NFL. And he has made two. He just signed. He's getting 50 million dollars this year for his new deal. And he was the one that got the Vikings to hire that coach, the uh, offensive coordinator for the Rams. What is it? Ken fucking Kellen Moore. Ke- no, it's not Kellen Moore. That's the well, whatever. Cowboys. If you if you can who went to Minnesota, to hire if you can fence a team to hire a head coach, you're probably putting yourself in a good, pretty good position to get signed. Oh, back Kevin as a O'Connell. Thank you, Kevin O'Connell. Oh, oh yeah, no. the ex Patriots for the yes, yes it is. Yeah, he's a coach signed Kevin by O'Connell. the O'Connell. He was drafted Vikings. by the Patriots. Third yeah, round, I think. Yeah, he's a third round pick. They traded That's him right. to the Jets and he flamed up. Bill, you're absolutely right. Um Bill's absolutely right, Kevin O'Connell. Yep. If another feather in Kirk Cousins cap, so you get the franchise, you convince the franchise to to hire the coach that is in charge of signing the quarterback <laughs> who's a free agent. Dude, whatever. You might suck or you might just be like immensely mediocre Kirk Cousins, but more power to you for the uh, money that you have backdoored yourself into in this league. Unbelievable. Can I say something real too? Another team, I think the Pittsburgh Steelers got better on defense. Well, Miles Jack helps. Miles yeah. Jack's a huge one. They got they that cornerback, Levi Wallace. I mean, he was a top 25 guy. What do you think of Trubisky? I said defensive wise. I didn't say anything about offense. That guy does not seem like a Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback. Uh-uh. Like, you go, I mean, the Neil O'Donnell years, you went to the Super Bowl, but those were pretty shallow. Like a but like, Steeler, yeah, he didn't seem like a Steelers quarterback either. 
looking back at it. Tommy no, Maddox. There, there were some Maddox. shallow years there, I guess. But Big Ben's hold, held it down Cordell for so Stewart. long. Slash was in there. Um, I don't know. Mitch Jabriskie? Like you said, he has better stats than Baker Mayfield. Can they coach him up? I don't know. They always have good wide receivers in, in Pittsburgh. Yeah, all they got is the uh, – who's that kid? Chase Claypool. That's it right, pretty much right now. Johnson. They got a couple good – Oh, Deontay kids. Johnson, yeah. Deontay Johnson. They always bring in good wide receivers in Pittsburgh. Those yeah. scouts should for the wide receivers should be, like, in the Hall of Fame because of what they get for talent. They got A.B., I mean, even before that, they had good guys. Always, they always have good wide receivers. Hines Ward, Antoine. Yeah, all the way from Hines Ward, yeah. You had Antoine Ringolo. You had uh, Plexico yeah. Burris. Plexico, Plexiglass. Plexiglass. Um, all right, let's rattle the brain. Anybody else? Uh, do we talk about the Chargers, right? Yep. Yeah, I think Chargers and Denver and the Chargers benefited the most. And Raiders, you can throw you can throw the Raiders in there too. Nope. All right, let me give you uh, NFL CBS writer Jeff Kerr's top 10 remaining free agents. Um, and you tell me if they have any chance of getting to England. Uh, give me a woof, non woof, however you want to define it. Uh, number woof. one, Taron Armstead, offensive woof. tackle. Okay. He's going back to the Saints. Uh, number two, Von Miller has signed with woof. the Bills. Number three, Allen Robinson. Woof. You're you woofing Allen come- Robinson. You don't think As he's if come the Patriots? Patriots can't sign him or the yes. you don't want him. No, I want him, but the Patriots can't sign him. Okay. I thought that's what we were doing. Number four, Stephon Gilmore. Woof. I think that would be an awesome play. They're by not Belichick. signing Stephon Gilmore. And that would make you so mad that I kind of want this all to happen. This to come full circle. You want the Patriots to sign Stephon Gilmore? Just so you can, I want to see an angry blog about the Patriots signing Stephon Gilmore from you. If they sign Stephon Gilmore, I won't be angry. They would have you fleeced so? the Panthers for whatever the sixth round pick or they got for him. Yeah, yeah good fleece. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Do you think, I guess, uh, maybe the Bills only score six touchdowns if Stephon Gilmore's on the defense in the playoff game instead of seven unanswered. He's not yeah. the same player. He's not signing me. Bobby yeah. Wagner. I want him. It's Bulls not going to happen. Him. Woof. Ain't going to happen. Tyron Matthew. Woof. Nope. nope. Ain't gonna happen. Trent Brown. Nope. Yes. I sneaky think Trent Brown might come back. I think this so. This is the too. best place he can play. I he's talked highly of New England. He only he played less than half a year last year. If anyone pays him big money, they are dumb. He his <laughs> best chance of success is in New England. They'll pay him okay. They'll play him under market, but they're not going to vet minimum, minimum him. Like he'll get a couple, of, you know, a few million dollars a year. I sneaky think he might be back. Me too. Great. Akeem Hicks. I would love him, but I heard he's going to Minnesota. Did you? Oh, he was so good when he was here. That one year. Yeah. Got it, got it for who, man? He was so fucking good. Oh, that's who they got him for. I was trying to figure out what that trade was. You know, I'd love him. He signed, back he, signed a, he signed a three year, $15 million deal with Chicago. They tried to go Patriots offered him a four for 15. And then he signed a monster deal with Chicago. He's coming off a monster deal, like a 60, $70 million deal. It's not a big deal with them. Yeah. The Patriots should have matched that first one that they, they cheaped out on him. Uh, they did for money, just not years. Yeah. I would love him back. He'd be a nice fit again. Uh, Jadavian Clowney. No. 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 We're all on Clowney. Fuck that guy. Loser. James Harden-esque. Not, good, not as good. Cleveland. Who did he last play for? Cleveland. Cleveland. Was it Cleveland? Yeah, he because was on he one side. Miles Garrett was on the other. Oh, God. He didn't have a bad season, but no. He had thanks. nine sacks, I think. Yeah, it was like a rejuvenated. I want nothing to do with there. Jadavian Clowney ever. No. I don't want to have nothing to do with him. Uh, Dwayne Brown, offensive tackle. He no. got franchised by Seattle. He's not going anywhere. Very he good. Did not get, he did not get franchised. I thought he got franchised. What did I just say? Dwayne Brown. Okay. I thought, I thought, I thought Seattle franchised. He's like a 33 year old offensive tackle coming off of an injury plague year, but he they're saying he might have one last big run in him. I thought Ray's the question here is, who do you think has done the least in free agency, and why is it the New England Patriots? 
And uh, I like the sentiment and I like the joke, but I'll give you a team that I think has done less. Jets. Miami Dolphins. Oh, Dolphins. Oh. What has Miami done? Uh, they signed up a backup quarterback and Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> yeah. Bad. Miami hasn't done shit. Then the Jets signed Braxton Berrios for $6 million a year. That was a crazy deal. I couldn't believe that. The cap's going up. Some people think the cap will be at three hundred million in four years. Holy shit! So if that's the case, and the Patriots don't spend money, then you know they got nothing. They got nothing to say about it. Um, before we get so at the end of this show here in a couple of minutes, we're gonna do Doctor Big Mac's way too early uh, power rankings, which is always fun. But let me just give you. Uh, let's just run through the AFC and the and the Patriots' chances at um, playoff standings in this upcoming year as we stand right now. Let's run through these teams and you tell me who's just the power rankings already. Jesus. No, no, no. no. I just want to know if we're going to do power rankings after this, but I want to know where the Patriots stand in the AFC, according to some of my sports show. Okay. So if the Patriots are better than this team, you say, yes, if they are not keeping notes, you talking to me. Yeah. You want me to write this down? Yeah. If they are not better, I expect you to be noting this every show. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I do all the time. Gonna let if they are not better, then you say no. Okay. Uh, let's let me. I'll try and do this. What I think is probably top to bottom. Um, all right. Let's go with the Kansas City Chiefs. No. 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 Buffalo Bills. No. no. Cincinnati Bengals. No. No. Wow. Tennessee Titans. No. No. Are you keeping up? Yep. You, so you know what number the Patriots are at right now? Yep. They're fifth? Out of five. Okay. Um, let's go Las Vegas. Nope. Before we get there, LA Chargers. No. No. Okay. Vegas Raiders. Yes. Mm. I'll say no. I don't trust Josh McDaniels as a head coach, so yes. It's his first year. They, he always does well in his first year. Uh, Tiebreaker. I'm going to say the Patriots will be better than the Raiders. Okay, that's the first one. Denver Broncos. No. no. I disagree with you guys there. No. Um, okay, let's go to the Baltimore Ravens. No. Yes. No, Ravens will be better. Okay. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes. 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 I, even though I like their defense, but yes. The Indianapolis Colts. Yes. 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 Uh, Cleveland Browns. No. I mean, yes. 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 Sorry. sorry. They'll be better than the Browns. And the uh, Dolphins. Yes. Yes. They'll be just better not, than the Dolphins. Just not December. They'll be better than the Jets. They'll be better than the Texans. They'll be better than the Jaguars. That's all of your AFC teams. Where does that land us, Raymond? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right in the fucking middle. Eighth? Yep. We're out of the playoffs, baby. <laughs> You're out of the playoffs. That hurts. Does. Does, but that's what's going to be this year. It's going to be a... Let down once again. Does that say anything to you? Patriots are in eighth. No. What kind? Of, what moves could they make that would uh, bolster that would bump them up? Who's at uh, seventh and sixth right now? Uh, you have the. What do you call it? it would Baltimore, be like... Baltimore, Cincinnati, Tennessee. You'd have to be better than them. Yeah, something like that, right? Broncos, Chargers, Raiders. Uh, yeah, Baltimore. You, you're in that range. Yeah, you're fighting for a wild card spot. So if you go out and you sign uh, Bobby Wagner. It's not going to help. No, you need offensive tackles, and you, you need offensive line help, and you need cornerback help. We went over this on the show on Friday. That's what you need to get this team over the hump to get to the better. Yeah, I guess I don't. I guess I don't disagree. I will just say this before we get before we end the show. Dr. Big Mac's big rankings, big uh, power rankings. 
I think a little bit's being too. I don't know if I said this on the Friday show. I think a little bit's too being too much made out of the Patriots offense. It's going to get better. It's just going to get better because Mac Jones is going to be in his second year. And he's who's gonna... calling plays? Well, it's a good that's, point. That's why it's not getting better. Uh, I disagree because I think people make too much of the fucking coaching. Haven't we seen that in the NFL? Haven't we seen that with Tom Brady? People make way too much of the coaching. It's, it is inevitably about the players in the field. And I think Mac Jones will have something to say about that in year two. I think that he will be better. I have faith in Mac Jones. You could, you could physically see when he hit the physical and mental wall last year, I think he'll hurdle that and they'll be better just because of Mac Jones improvement. I don't know if that makes them, you know, that much better in the grand scheme of things, but their offense will be better. I don't think you need an Allen Robinson to, to make the offense better. I think they'll just naturally get better with a couple with another year in the system. Let's go to uh, Dr. Big Max way, 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 way too early uh, power rankings to end the show. No, thank you, Richard. At number 10, I have the San Francisco 49er. Now this is right now as everyone's roster is right now. I have the San Francisco 49ers at number nine. I have bills, Tennessee Titans, at number eight, I have my Cincinnati Bengals. At number seven, I have the Denver Broncos. At number six, the LA Chargers. At number five, the Green Bay Packers. At number four, the Buffalo Bills. Number three, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Number two, the Kansas City Chiefs. And at number one, the defending reigning Super Bowl champs, the LA Rams. Tampa Bay, number one. Ooh. Bill just loves him some Tom Brady. Loves him some Tom Brady. Uh, you have the, uh, hmm. you guys are so high in the Broncos. <laughs> this has been the Simmons Sports Show, uh, NFL Free Agency. Bye. See you. Later. Bye-bye. <laughs>